In this video I will show you how to make the flag of Vatican City as a banner in Minecraft and how you can put it on a shield. I'm Plector and this is Plector Builds, all about making real life stuff in Minecraft, such as flags and banners. I am exploring my survival world server and what have we got here? It's a village. Let's check out who lives here and what country this might be. Let's check it out. All right. Let's close that door. Anybody home? Nobody here? You're all gathered around the center. You're all at the town center, right. There's a lot of uh, clerics and a lot of librarians. Leo the 12th, Benedict the something, and another St. Paul the something, the sixth. And uh, they all seem to be uh, St. Joel the second and Clement the 12th. So these are all popes, which means we're in the Vatican City. Right. But uh, you know what, Vatican City, you need a banner and uh, I can show you how to make it. The Vatican City flag, or the flag of the Holy See as it's also called, is modelled on earlier Papal States flags and was adopted in 1929. This is yellow and white and has a coat of arms on the right side. It is square one to one. But in Minecraft we have to make it as a banner and we have two options. One is more detailed, the other one is more clean. So I'll show you how to make both of them. And we will start off by making a loom, which you can use two string and two planks, doesn't matter which ones, like this. And then you have your loom, place it wherever you want. I've got one right here. We also need yellow dye for this. You can use a sunflower, that will give you two yellow dye. We have a dandelion, that will give you one per dandelion. So we need all together four. We also need a light gray color dye. For that, we need some black. Ink sack is an option here. Probably a lot easier to get than the wither rose. That will also give you black dye. We also need white dye, which you can get from bone meal, like that. Mix the black dye and the white dye to get gray dye. We want light gray dye, so we mix it once more. We get light gray dye. Now, here's the tricky part, because for this flag design, we need some banner patterns and one of them is this one here the thing and the problem is this thing is it you need an uh, enchanted golden apple which is really hard to find but uh, if you want to go for that one that option you can go for that option the other option which is also quite hard is to get a creeper head and join that with a paper that will give you a creeper charge banner pattern Get a creeper head, you need a charged creeper to explode nearby a creeper. And now we also need white banners. Get six white wool like this with a stick below it that will give you one white banner. We want loads because we're going to decorate the whole village. And now let's go over to the loom. Option number one, start with a white banner like this. Bring your thing into the loom here and add a light grey colour like that. That will give you the thing like this on the banner. But let's add some, we actually need some white dye as well. Alright, let's uh, bring that white dye in there together with this thing here, light grey thing and we need to find the white purface inverted which should be not this one here uh, it is white purface inverted here we are and then bring it back there and now we can add two yellow dyes because we're going to find this one here and we're going to do it twice the reason for that is because we want really strong lines 
that will give you this one here like that you can see the difference between this and this it's a bit stronger color in this center here now the second option with the creeper charge let's use that one there the creeper charge bring that up with the banner add some light gray dye bring that back remove the creeper charge if we're in creative it will be used if you are in survival mode of course let's bring in two yellow dyes and finish this on off with two yellow per pail like that we've got this one here good 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 so this is a matter of choice this one is cleaner this one is more detailed and let's bring it back to the crafting table because what we can do now is bring the white banners next to the newly crafted Vatican City flag and uh, we can duplicate them we can copy them like that and uh, another thing we can do if you're playing in Java Edition is to make a shield like this and we can put the shield next to this banner like that and that's how you bring it onto a shield i've got my shield from san marino on me right now if you want to watch how to make the banner of san marino click the right top corner for that tutorial but here we go here's the vatican state shield it looks quite cool it looks quite good So Clement, what do you think about the banners? I love them, they are great, they're fantastic. There should be no doubt at all that this is the Vatican City Village. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Whatever you do, remember to subscribe.